Well, it's morning, and we are going to be cooking keto with Justin and Rocco this morning. We're going to make some... Yeah, I'm a great helper. He is a great helper. We're going to make uh, keto pancakes. Ow. All right, let's get cooking. So here's the recipe we're going to use. I'm not really sure where the wife got it, but this is it. So here's all the ingredients I'm going to use. Got uh, coconut flour, uh, baking powder, cinnamon, vanilla, cream cheese, and eggs. Uh, it will be four eggs. And I'm not going to use the sugar substitute or the maple extract. Um, I found I don't really need it, but maybe you guys want to follow that recipe and actually use that stuff. So these pancakes usually turn out a little dry. So my little secret to that is a half stick of butter that I'll be mixing in with it. Uh, that's my secret ingredient. Alright, so I'm going to start off with these. I got one teaspoon of baking powder. It calls for two, but I'm just going to use one. Then I got one teaspoon of uh, cinnamon there. It says for a dash, I use a teaspoon. And then two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then can you scoop me out four tablespoons of coconut flour there, buddy? Awesome job. So here I got my four ounces of cream cheese and my half stick of butter. I'm going to go ahead and slap in the microwave and melt them. So here's what I got after uh, 40 seconds in my junk microwave. You don't need to have it completely melted, just softened up so that it'll mix together in the uh, in the bowl. So we're going to we're going to go ahead and pour that in. All right, time to add the four eggs. Mix it up. That's right. You want to go ahead and do it, Rocco? Yep. Looks great. Now it comes out kind of thick, but uh, once you start cooking it, it thins out. I think that's probably because the butter is melting. But this is what I'm going to cook it on. Not trying to be fancy or anything. Um, <laughs> I always turn mine up to. 275. So, I use a quarter cup scoop to measure these out. So, as you can see, they've kind of thinned out and spread out quite a bit. And, whoops! Got two of them stuck together, so Rocco had to make himself some teeny tiny ones. Hmm. So flipping these is a little difficult because it gets runny. Let's give it a shot. Got it. It's got a happy face on it. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see how they look. Fantastic. Let's take them off. So here's the finished product. There's my boys. What do you think, buddy? Is it good? Awesome. Thank you. So here's what it looks like on the inside. As far as syrup goes, you can still get sugar free, but it's going to have some carbs in it even though it's sugar free. This one here has 6 grams of carbs for every quarter cup, which isn't bad.